Yes, I'm. I'm very excited. It, it seems like a long time, um, but it's it, it has been a long time since I last played uh, for Edinburgh. So I'm so excited to get back out there, play with the boys, and um, yeah, get back to playing for the for the club that I love. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. They they show me so much sport, like you say, throughout the whole whole of the summer. They were they were always behind me and uh, always fighting my corner and stuff like that, which is which is so nice and. Uh, I've obviously been in the crowd watching watching the boys this season, so it's going to be great to actually finally get out here and and feel the buzz around around the fans. I think all the boys I've spoken to have had such amazing experiences here so far this season. So it's just building building on what we've done so far, and uh, hopefully we can put in a good performance on Friday night. Yeah, really exciting. It's it's uh, it's an exciting position for the club right now to be in. I think we're sitting third in the table and and uh, haven't lost a game at home. So I think. It's trying to build on that and keep keep progressing as a team, and hopefully the fans can uh, the fans can keep coming along. And the buzz, like you say, when I've when I've been watching in the stands has been amazing. So we've got to make sure that we keep getting the right results and uh, yeah, keep the fans on our side. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can keep building a season towards something special. Yeah, six split, move it. Yeah, so it's yeah. It meant so much to me, Aki's. It was the first the first Scottish club I played for when I when I came up here. Uh, Simon Cross uh, got me to go to Aki's all those years ago when I was playing for Scotland under twenties, and it's a club that means uh, means a lot to me, and I owe them a lot uh, for my development, for giving me opportunities to play to play adult rugby, and um, yeah, it's sort of uh, I haven't played for them for for a long time, but you never know, maybe one day I'll, I'll get back in uh, back in the Aki's colours. I think you can see from you know the boys posting on socials and stuff like that, and I think. A lot of the boys, like I've just said, it means it means an awful lot to them. They're, some of them are wearing their, their schools or um, their clubs when they were a lot younger, but especially for the, the clubs that gave us an opportunity when boys are coming through the ranks and not quite playing for Edinburgh, that's how I suppose you end up getting picked for Edinburgh, putting in good performances for, for your club teams. And, you know, we owe, we owe a lot to all those boys who play for those teams as well because uh, they, they helped us get selected all those years ago as well and some boys pushing through now. So... Yeah, it means a lot to um, have a club appreciation night. I think it's a really cool idea, and um, yeah, because we we owe a lot to all these all these clubs in Scotland. Yeah, I'm really pleased for Maggie. He's been at the club. He's one of the one of the old boys at the club now. He's a year older than me, I think. Um, and yeah, it's it's great for him to get to get a night uh, a night like that hundredth cap. Uh, I'm sure his family will be be at the game as well, and an amazing achievement. Um, I think Maggie's 26, is he? 27 so it's it's an amazing achievement to get it get it pretty young as well and like I say I think this is 10th or 9th season at the club so he's been he's been around for a while and um, I'm really chuffed for him and he's he's really hitting some form at the moment and playing some great rugby as well so yeah we're all we're all really happy for uh, Maggie.